Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to make one of the Dollar Tree elves using HTV. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. So let's get started. For this project, I'm using a special tape. You will notice that this tape has a blue hue to it. It is not regular scotch tape. This is actually tape made by Cricut. It is their heat transfer tape. It's made for the Infusa ink, but it also works for regular HTV or iron-on also. So I find it's best if you tape down your design so that it won't slide or move on you while you're working on this. I'm just using a regular hair straightener and I have it set to the highest setting. And I'm going to hold that down for 30 seconds. So while that is cooling, I'm going to let that cool down and I'm going to go ahead and tape down the name that goes across the belly. And this is such a nice project because you can customize this to fit anybody's name on here. And it's something special that they'll always have and be able to remember. Especially if they're a child, they can use this when they're older to decorate their house as they're an adult. So now that that's cooled down some, we'll go ahead and we will peel that off. So now we'll go ahead and press across the belly and we'll hold that down for another 30 seconds also. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that that is warm to the touch. You don't want it really hot. If you peel this off when it's really hot, then your vinyl could buckle and it could get wrinkles in it or maybe even bubbles. So you do need to make sure you're not impatient like I am and you don't pull that off too quickly. You can always adapt the year to be any year that you would like. So go ahead and press down on that for another 30 seconds. So I do want to caution you on something. If you look at that circle on my hair straightener, that is actually one of the plastic tags that holds the doll on to the rack at the store. And I accidentally melted that onto my hair straightener, which I didn't even notice until after I was done filming this video. So you might want to cut the tags off on the elf's head as you do this so that you avoid that. Luckily, it didn't damage my iron or anything, and it didn't get on my project, and I don't know how I lucked out with that. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new. If you like learning about different crafts, making cards, learning about Cricut Design Space, Inkscape, and Brother Scan and Cut, please consider clicking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.